Namaste. Welcome to Flutter Beginners Tutorial Series. Flutter has become one of the popular cross-platform application development framework in very short term. With already thousands of mobile apps and production developed on Flutter, Flutter is now moving beyond mobile with Flutter Desktop and Flutter Web, both of which are in developer preview. In this tutorial series, we will learn to develop a complete mobile application using Flutter and Firebase from scratch. Believe me, this will not be a passive app development course. As with every video, I would like your input on what to implement next, what UI or features to implement. I want to get active participation from you all so that I can make this tutorial as you would want it. Basically, my objective in this tutorial series is to together learn some basics of Flutter, to learn to use provider package for state management and use Firebase as backend for authentication and database. In this tutorial, we will learn to create new Flutter application and some basics of Flutter application. We will learn to authenticate users using Firebase Auth and Google Sign In. And we will also learn to perform basic database operation, create, read, update and delete in Firebase Firestore. Also, we'll use provider package for state management. And along the way, we will implement more extra features based on your feedback and suggestion. To get started with this tutorial, you will need the following. A computer with Flutter installed and configured. We will mostly be using Android to run and test our Flutter app so that everyone can follow. So any system Mac, Windows or Linux will do. It is better if you know the basics of programming as well as some basics of object oriented programming. This is not a absolute requirement, but if you know the basics, you will understand the code more easily. No prior experience with Dart or Flutter is required, but it is a plus point. The application that we will be developing in this series is a notes application that will allow us to create, edit, and delete our notes. We will even learn to attach and upload images to our notes. Moreover, we will add other features suggested by you all along the way. So please take part actively and help make this tutorial better for you. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will start the series by designing a wireframe of our UI. Thank you.